viewers and welcome back to my channel Mixed Mazda Valley Orchids. Well as you can see I'm back in the greenhouse today and I did say yesterday I would do another video on scale, brown scale in particular, Bois Duval I believe it's called. So I'm going to show you now, I'll set the tripod up, set the camera up again and I'll show you what scale looks like on a Mazda Valley, how to control it and hopefully how to eradicate it. Anyway, let's get set up and let's have a look. Well, hello viewers and welcome back to uh, my channel Mixed Mazda Valleys. Following on from yesterday, um, I did a video on uh, Orchid Black Spot on Mazda Valleys. And I thought I'd show you how I deal with brown scale. These pests are easily spread throughout an entire collection and if you're not careful, Again, your first step is to identify these bugs. Being a beginner like myself, I was unfamiliar at what to look for, but you soon learn. You soon learn in the orchid game what um, scale look like on an orchid. Well, today I'm going to show you what you're looking for, how to eradicate them, and how to prevent an infestation on these horrible little pests, Mazda Valleys. I'm hoping my camera will pick up some of these uh, small scale bugs which is on this Mazda Valley so I can show you. But how to identify scale and what you're looking for, without a doubt, uh, scale in particular the Armoured or Bois de Val is considered the worst of orchid pests and at some stage in your growing environment you will get scale. So don't panic it's treatable. Unlike media bugs, you cannot just brush away with your fingertips scale. Scale have a thick detached shell which attaches to your orchid like a cement or super glue. When you first see a hard brown lump on your Mazda Valley orchid and you cannot scrape it away, this indicates Boyce de Val scale. Look all around your plant leaves and at the base. Here is a Mazda Valia with scale, which has been treated to prevent a widespread infestation amongst my other plants. But I kept it and brought it over today to show you. It's a no ID Mazda Valia, but it has been infected bad. It's been on the bottom shelf in the greenhouse, probably been a little bit neglected uh, by myself. And I noticed we had the infestation a couple of days ago. I've sprayed it and it should come off and I thought, People new to Mazda Valleys or new to growing orchids need to know what they're looking for and how to take care of them. So once you have identified or realised you have scale, you need to isolate that plant from the rest of your collection as soon as possible. Personally I spray the plant with a reliable treatment. This is best done when the bugs are in the nymph phase. And I do this every plant I buy before putting it in this greenhouse now. I use uh, SB Invigorator, this product. I'm not advertising the product, I'm just showing you what I use. I use SB Invigorator every time I bring a Mazda Valley into this greenhouse. As a precautionary measure, I spray all my plants with that, just in case I've got a, a couple of creepy crawlies that I don't want on my Mazda Valleys, and I certainly don't want them on my other Mazda Valleys. So let me have a look at this, see if I can um, get a, this camera, fairly new camera so I'm not brewing to using it yet. But let me try and show you, if I can, what scale look like on a Mazda Valia and what you're looking for. Let me just have a look here. Can you see here, going up the leaf, the brown spots. Look like a little mole actually on the leaf joints. I don't know if I can get a better picture of that. But yeah, you can see it's heavily infestated all over the leaves on this one. These are all dead now and they're ready to come off. But I thought it's important that when you when you do start out, you have an idea of what you're looking for. You know, uh, there look. You have an idea of what you're looking for the brown, horrible little creatures called scale. 
Well, let's go on to how I treat them now. If you only have a couple of scale on your plant, then you can use 70% rubbing alcohol and a cotton bud wipe every scale you do. Um, and you need to get in every nook and cranny of that orchid. On, other, on a couple of dendrobiums, uh, sorry, dendrobiums I had, I used a toothbrush with the rubbing alcohol to get right into the sheaths and around the sheaths because they are a pain and they are difficult to get rid of. So you need to control them at the first sighting. So let me just show you how I use rubbing alcohol uh, to get rid of my scale. Well we use the trusty old uh, IKEA tub, put some 70% uh, rubbing alcohol in. And a good old cotton bud. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to dip the cotton bud, similar to black spot, this time we're using rub rubbing alcohol. We dip it in, we find the scale on the plant. I'm hoping you can see this. Let me move to the camera a bit better. And you just put it on the scale. So where you see a scale put on the rubbing alcohol. This will dry probably within a day and these should flake off. These Most of these have been killed now because this plant was um, heavily infested I decided to do it prior than waiting just to show you viewers. I thought I'd get it done. But yeah that's how I control it. And these will dry up. Uh, I'm sorry about the picture. I'm trying to hold the camera. I'm trying to hold the plant in front of the camera. So you can see. But yeah. Just keep doing it. Until you've got. Every scale. Covered. With the rubbing alcohol. As I say, most of these are dead. I'll wipe them off in a short while because I did this plant the other day and I really went through this plant. And um, that's how I treat it. <clears throat> I would suggest that you repeat the treatments in about 10 days time um, or sooner if you notice scale again. Once killed, the scale will dry dry up easily and flake off. However, a scar will be left on your plant. It will leave a scar sometimes on your plant. If you think the scale are uh, down in your media, down here in the media, uh, pour some hydrogen peroxide. So get yourself some hydrogen peroxide. Can we see that on the camera? Get some hydrogen peroxide and tip it in your potting mix. This will dry out your roots. So ensure you water thoroughly afterwards. Make sure your plant is thoroughly watered after you've done it. But they are horrible little pests and they do get everywhere. The brown scale that you've just seen me identify on this plant are the female of the species. The males look very similar to mealybugs and appear powdery and white. Usually found on the underside of the leaves, sucking the sap out of your plants. They also have a sticky extraction called honeydew. And another useful tip is when you see ants on your plants, they are after the honeydew. They are climbing up to get to the honeydew. So check your plants more closely. And I'll check all my masses regular and if necessary repeat the treatment. But as I said before, prevention is better than cure. So whatever you decide to use, I mean some people use um, horticultural oil or neem oil, 50% uh, water with 50% uh, isopol, mix it together and spray that on the um, orchids or the Mazda Valleys rather than use um, a pesticide version. But me, I want to get rid of them as quickly as possible. So I use SB Invigorator. This is a contact book killer. 
so it sprays on contact. I do believe now you can get SB Invigorator in a systemic form, which means you can once you've sprayed the plant, the plant takes it in, and anything biting on the plant will be killed. But yeah, the horrible things, if you're new to Mazda Valleys, be on the lookout for them. It's easily, it doesn't matter how good a grower you are, somewhere along the line, you will get scale. And you need to get rid of it as quickly as possible. Because it'll wipe out your collection. Well, I hope you found that fairly useful again. Um, I'm going to try and keep doing these videos um, how I'm looking after my Mazda Valleys and how I'm bringing them on and hopefully some of the other beginners out there like myself will pick up on that because it, as I said before there's not a lot of places you can go to to find out about Mazda Valleys unless you're on the orchid forums or you're in an orchid society but if you find the video useful I'm just going to show you two more that I've just seen and try and get a better picture if I can. Uh, where the hell are they gone? Here's one. Let's move this out of the way. There's a couple on that leaf. See them? So that's what you're looking for. Anyway, I'm going to kill this off now. Clean all these leaves off now. I'll wipe them all down. They should all be dry now. Because I did the plant yesterday, I'm going to take them all off, keep it isolated from the rest of my collection for uh, at least another two weeks, make sure they're all dead, just check a few other plants. If you found the video useful, give us a thumbs up. And before, like all my videos, if you're not interested in Mazda Valleys, just give us a thumbs down and don't bother watching. But if you want to subscribe and see more videos, like the videos I'm doing at the moment, and you're into Mazda Valleys and you really want to succeed with Mazda Valleys subscribe anyway I'll leave you now and thanks for watching I really do appreciate people who subscribe to the channel have a great New Year's Eve and have a great New Year everybody and I'll see you all again next year when I've got something else to show you on these Mazda Valleys bye for now